how many bison can you have per acre? One of the things that you got to think about is where you're located. That's the most important thing to start off. Here in Southern Oklahoma, we're about four or five acres per head. On this land, to be honest with you, I've got too many bison. I, l I love bison and, you know, I had some opportunities to get some more like Big Joe and Kit and Flo. Uh, and then you have Baby. So we've got a total of 27 right now. And on these paddocks that we're running, this big herd on, they're about anywhere from five to seven acre lots that we've fenced off. Dunbar. Dunbar's making racket. Most important part about rotational grazing is the recovery time uh, of those paddocks that you've been grazing. And we haven't had a lot of recovery time that we would like to have just because of the lack of rain and the drought that we're in. So I want to talk to you about a couple of things that you can do to try to help the bison. And a lot of guys do this differently and it depends on where you are in this part of the country. But as far as rotational grazing, uh, regenerative ag, whatever you want to call it. If you don't have a lot of grass, there's a lot of things that you can do to help supplement for the bison so that they're staying healthy and they're getting everything they need to be healthy in a hot and dry summer. One thing that we need to do here is we need to do soil samples on this place and we'll be able to really see what is missing here. And you guys can do that too. You may have already done it before. You can check what's going on under the surface and see what minerals that you need that these animals aren't getting. It's a simple thing and it's not very expensive at all. We're putting out Bison 90. Bison 90, a trace mineral from a Redmond Minerals. This also comes in a block form. I've been using trace minerals, but what I've noticed is it's gotten hotter in the summer. They've been eating the minerals more. Just whatever mother nature is not providing them through the grass and through the ground, Redmond Minerals will come through for you and will provide all those minerals that the bison need to get through the tough conditions. Probably not gonna go after right now. They uh, they expect cubes, <laughs> which is definitely tastier. Talking about drought, that's one thing right there. Put minerals out. That will help the balance of the animal's gut. Keep those minerals in, keep those elements going inside the body, and that'll keep an animal healthy for somewhat in drought conditions. Uh, another thing that we do, which can be obviously more expensive, is feed. We're not supplement feeding right now, but right now we are bringing them cubes. Kevin and my mom, appreciate their help by the way. Marissa and I aren't here. Uh, mom and Kevin come out here and check the bison and, and give them these cubes and whatnot. So I wanna thank mom and Kevin for coming out here and taking care of them when we're not here. So yes, you guys have seen these before. Putting out these cubes. I think will help also it just keep them give them something even though they're still grazing and there's not as much grass as you want there to be you can still come out here and give them these cubes you don't have to feed them too much but i think it's important just to try to keep these guys as healthy as possible we're not feeding them 50 pound sack fulls um we're not doing that we're just giving them a little bit here at a time and that's why they follow me in the green machine 